here behind in this little bowl is a nice little area. And we can get down real low, especially down the woods here. And it still gives you a good view of two of the spawn zones. So you you know, you got the ocean sucking don't crash. The back of these planes back here kind of go down low a little bit too. You can kind of hide down here as well. It's not the best defensive place. This place doesn't really have a lot of good defensive ones. That one spot I showed you is a pretty good one. We're going to sneak around the back of the barn. Um, those woods there, I think that's the Sherwood Forest for this board. The ones I'm pointing to in that direction. At least that's what I call them. It really is. Um, and like the woods on this board, like the one to the left of us, and, and obviously this one right in front of us, there is one nice thing about them is that these are woods that it's very easy to uh, fly a plane into. Um, because of their thinness, you won't uh, take damage, and you're able to hide. Yeah, like that wood over there is the same way. It works really well for that. Yeah. So we're gonna cross the bridge. There's another defensive point we'll be coming up to once we cross the water over here. They call it a. Uh, this is this board's King's Land. Oh, I didn't go far enough. I'm sorry. We can go over this hill here. I forgot about this. You're still with me, right? Yeah. I think right on the other side of this. Yeah, right down here. This is a good spot right down here. You can be real hidden back here as well. Yeah, it goes down low, well, which is really nice. This is one of the better spots to work with. See? You can really get in there. Yeah. Good spot on last man standing on this board. I find going up on this board works really well too. Um, and this board more than most of them because of the uh, white background. Um, so, so being a spotter on this board is the easiest of all the boards. Um, there's not a lot of places for people to hide. And they, they, they just stick out. It doesn't matter what color your plane is, you're going to look like, you know, that black dot moving across the land. And so we can go back this way. So this area here is called King's Landing. This spot. And again, this is another good place to hang out and defend. This is behind the uh, spawn zone back here, which I guess is a lake too. I, th I always thought of this as the beginning of the river. Yeah, all back here is great. This is like one of the few hills that's actually on board. Most of it's all flat. Yeah, and there's a nice set of woods on the other side of this hill too, which is kind of cool. tree line that runs right there on both sides. That's one nice thing about this board. It has a lot of tree lines you can hide in. So this area here to the right of me, this spot back here where I just shot a flare, yep. that's called the runway. It's a good place, you know, you can uh, you can hang out here and blender up a little bit. You get a pretty good view of anything coming in if you need to. If you got a bunch of people right now. Again, as you can see with these woods here too, the great, the best thing about this board is the woods in this board. They're just very, very like uh, sparse. There's like no reason why you should take any damage to your plane going through them. Some of the ones near the river are a little thicker. All the outside ones are like this. They're all like Oh, 
look, there's water to the right of us. There is. I didn't even notice there's water to the right of us. Oh, let me see how far I have gone. They have their red yet. And then this brings us back out to uh, the ocean here. Um, you, know, you can kind of ride along the coast a little bit on this one. There's a little bit of an edge. But again, I think the best place on this board, if you ask my opinion, is to go up and dive down. It's, uh, it's just the best place to be. It's not a bad spot right there too, come to think about it. You think about it, we have a spawn zone that's uh, right over there towards the sun, right? And we have another spawn zone that's uh, up that direction over here. Yep. And this little ledge down here is kind of nice down here. We crashed and crashed. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's uh, four spawn zones. You know where they are here, right? Yeah. 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 This is one of them, obviously. I I, I call this Ocean or Lake Side, and I call that one on the opposite river side. I guess the best way to, I've never really came up with good names for the other ones, but it looks like this one's mainly plains over here, maybe plain side, forest side. Seems like good names for them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's jump out of this one. Yeah, I'm in London right now. It's, uh, what, 9 o'clock here? Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're pretty much almost on the opposite side of the world. Uh, this one again. Yep. Yeah, right, let's jump again. This might take a couple. This last one's always going to be the hardest. Are you there? Ocean? Yeah. There's nothing there. Nothing to use. Yeah, it's pretty. The sun. That's about all you got is the sun. You can't even name spawn zones over there because they all look the same. No. Same one again. It's gonna take a couple times, I have a feeling. I wish there was a way you could actually pick the board. It kind of. I mean, there's nice things to the randomness. Oh, look, Atlantis is there today. Yes. You can see the island. Yeah. yeah. This is one of my favorite boards. All right, let's get out of this one. Get out of this, okay. Yeah. You've yeah. done it before, right? We've done that I board. Yeah, that's so. a good yes. board. It is a good board. That's like my favorite last man saying, we could do it. I oh, should have jumped back in. Oh, whatever. Pops so, up again. Yeah, it comes up again. Islands, finally. Here we go. All right. So, right down here in front of us. So, we're coming in on uh, there's four spawn zones. Let's talk spawn zones. There's ocean side spawn zone, there's a big island spawn zone. That's the one we came in. You're coming in above Hawaii spawn zone, and then there's atoll side, and that's the one over here. All right. So, this is D Island right here. Um, the island's not too bad. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is the hot spot where all the activity is. You can get kind of close to the to the beach there. There are like little ledges you can hide behind a little bit to try to mask you coming in. You know, especially if people are coming from the opposite side in the woods. I guess it's not the best place to hide, but those are the two tricks I use: is use the the because it's it's got some cliffs on it, which are kind of nice. You can kind of keep your plane hidden. Like, all right, so. This one out over here, um, I call Hawaii. Um, and let's see what it is today. Today it's three islands. 
Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's one big island with woods on it the size of D. It changes a lot. Generally, it's a series of islands, so, so hence why it's called Hawaii. Now, oh, actually, we got four islands. There's a little one right there. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't see that little one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a great place to uh, blender up here. You really got a good view of everything. Um, all right. Let's uh, go to this island over here. One right in front of us. Um, I call this one Kong Island. Um, it doesn't get used a lot, but it's got some nice aspects to it. Um, the, one of the best things are the two hills on it, which, um, yeah, which B Daddy calls the boobs. He calls this D cup and that one C cup. So, <laughs> but if you hide, of course you would. You can appreciate. It. But D cup isn't a bad place to hang out at right here in the back. You get in the, you know, oh, don't crash. There we go. Yeah. Um, again, you know, the nicest thing about Kong Island and, is that it, uh, people don't go out to it that much when they play this game. It's kind of like the last place they go. So it is a good place to go. And you can ride along the back of it and stay hidden the whole time. This is an easy uh, board to run to circle the map with, except for Oceanside. Um, you can't go to, you can go a little ways out into the water here. Um, you know, not completely out of sight, but you can come in off the water if you're, you know, but you, there's some really nice hills here that can you can hide behind. Like right here, this is a nice one. Yeah, you can see it. All right, and we'll go over this, this island here too. This is uh, what they call Big Island. This is what everybody calls it, you know. And this one's just like the other one. It has a nice little uh, way along the back here. And you can come in. I like these woods. This is a great place to kind of hang on high and fly back and forth between from one side to the other. You get a really good view of the surrounding area. Stuff coming in at you. Yeah. Um, Uh-oh. Jenny's calling me. I'll call back. Um, this is the best places back here, though. Honestly, you know, um, here and then the next atoll, they're both really good. Not an atoll, I mean the next uh, little um, bay or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, this is the one right behind the spawn back here. Answer your mom. Yeah, like right back here is pretty decent. Oh. Easily pop over the top. Why is she calling me on two different things? Now? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much most of the board. I mean, it's really just knowing the spawn cycles and uh, you know, it showed you all the hiding spots. There's only four things really to place name on this, you know. The woods over, you know, I guess you could say the w woods on the, there's two sets of woods on, on Big Island. Really, it's just one, though. It's really the one down there. These ones aren't really even much in the way of woods. Yeah. That's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's try that dive one more time. Let's go up. We're up to about 3,000 feet. All right, and so we're gonna wanna, I wanna fly, fly opposite direction for, of me for a minute. Just a few seconds, and I'm gonna turn towards you in about a few seconds. So we wanna make about three loops coming down towards each other. Always checking our six and then lowering down. All right, I'm heading towards you now. All right, you head towards me. So we're gonna fly past each other first time. Pretty much watching each other's six. I'm seeing your six is clear. Coming down. Okay. And I'm banking left. And I'm coming down towards... Yep, you're banking the right... Exactly. So you bank right. Uh, and then we're going to bank left. And you'll bank right again. 
Yep, I heard you. She didn't say anything. Um, yeah, and uh, we're pretty much down at this point. And then we can blend her up here, or we can, um, you know, all right. Or we can go out and attack if we're doing it. But at least this way, yeah, exactly. We've washed our sixes all the way down. If need be, I can climb, you know, I can climb up either direction. And that way we're protected coming out of spawn. If we have a third person with us, what we would want is that person to sit up and spawn and just watch. And then they'd be the last one down. Preferably one of your your really good um, pressure shooters who can handle like having to dip and weave. They would be the one to leave behind. Yeah. yeah. All right. Shh, shh. That's a lot, please. All right. Yeah. That's pretty much this board right here. Let's ditch out of this. Hey, yeah, can you take that out of the room, bud? Just for a second, please. Can you take that out of the room? Thanks. Because you're like yelling in my ear. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know. That's nice. I'll call her in a minute. Take it to the other room, please. Thanks. I said, uh, take it in the other room. The other room, Con. Take it in the other room. Go. Thank you.